So before we dive into pods, we need to set up these user uh, categories of creator and customer. And as we have installed the members plugin, we can go to that one and go to roles. And here we can add the new role and we can add a role of the customer like this. And as you can see, there are a lot of settings that you can uh, set up here. And these are the capabilities that you find in WordPress. And as you can see, we have pods and here we can say uh, things about pods. But this is not what we want to do at the moment. We just would like to add the customer because they can still read. And we will see if we need anything more later on. Then we can come back here. Uh, we probably need to be able to maybe create posts or something. But let's... Uh, Add this role. And then we also add finally the creator role. Creator, like this. And we can add that one. Now, as we have the view, as we can look at the site depending on different roles or depending on different users. So we have something really slicker. So, what we can do now is that we can also create two users. So let's add a new user and let's have a creator and here her name can be Mary. Uh, and that is the only thing. Well, she need an email address also. She will be Mary at example.com like that. And we don't want to send a password and we can use, uh, uh, we don't mean to send a mail. So let's use Mary here as a super secret password. Uh, and she should be a creator like this. And now using the plugin, we get a little bit different. Uh, normally it's a pop up, but let's add this one. And finally, also let's add uh, John. And he has John at example.com. And that was not John, that was John. So, like that. And he will also have this super secret password. Uh, and we don't want to send a mail and he will be a customer. So now we have uh, three users. One is a customer, one is a creator. And then of course we have the administrator that can do anything. And now we can start to dive into the pods and see what we can do there.